The city is on the verge of executing a $1.4 billion contract with rail car builder Ansaldo. But the city council still has some unanswered questions. The council's budget committee today considered and then deferred a resolution that would urge Mayor Peter Carlisle and the Honolulu Authority for Rapid Transportation, or HART, to cut its ties with Ansaldo and start the process all over again. Reporter Michael Levine with our partner CivilBeat.com was there and joins us now to tell us about the council's role in the procurement process. Now, Michael, what kind of questions were council members asking? Well, the big one they were asking is why was Bombardier disqualified? That was one of the losing bidders, and they've said that if they were picked instead of Ansaldo, it would have saved taxpayers about $250 million over the life of the contract. Now, the council wants Bombardier to be able to come and testify directly to them at the council, so that's why the resolution was deferred until those folks from Bombardier can come personally. So do we know a little bit more as to why Bombardier was disqualified? Well, Hart Interim Executive Director Toru Hamayasu and the city attorney were reluctant to answer those questions today because the matter could still be appealed in court. So, but what they've said before is that it's a, an issue of Bombardier being reluctant to take on liabilities, it's something called indemnification. It's complicated, but th that that decision by the city has been upheld by a protest official. It's been upheld at the the state and appeals process, and it's even been upheld in circuit court. Such a lengthy process. Okay, so do we know what happens next? The matter's going to come back. It's been deferred. Vice Chair Kaika Anderson made pretty clear that he's not sure about part of the resolution. The idea of dealing with contracts is usually left to the executive branch and not the council. But uh, Councilman Tomberg and, and Vice Chair Anderson were both disappointed they couldn't get answers from the administration. So it's not over yet, and we'll, we'll see more soon, I'm sure. No surprise. All right, thanks a lot, Michael. Well, you can find more on the story on the CivilBeat.com website. Stay tuned to KITV4 News at 6. For frequent updates and insight into stories our online partners are developing every day.